Hey everyone, I'm Lena and today I'm excited to guide you through how to integrate your Keylab MK3 controller with Cubase. With this integration, you'll have hands-on control over your Cubase projects, making it easier to navigate, mix and tweak your sounds directly from the Keylab MK3. Let's jump into how you can take full advantage of this powerful setup. When you connect your Keylab MK3 to Cubase, you unlock seamless control over essential DAW functions. The transport controls on your Keylab MK3 stop, play, record, tap tempo, loop, fast forward, rewind, and metronome are perfectly mapped to Cubase allowing you to manage your sessions effortlessly. Additionally, key commands like save, quantize, undo, and redo are just a button press away, keeping your workflow smooth and uninterrupted. To use the Cubase script for the Keylab MK3, you'll need to download and install the script from the Arturia website. Visit Arturia Keylab MK3 resources webpage. Download the script corresponding to your DAW. Connect your Keylab MK3 and select the DAW program using the PROG button. Open Cubase and ensure the window in the top right corner is enabled. Click on the MIDI Remote tab at the bottom left corner. Click on the Open MIDI Remote Manager icon in the top left of the MIDI Remote tab. Click on the Import Script button and select the script corresponding to your device from the downloaded folder. Your controller should now be ready to use with Cubase. The main encoder on the Keylab MK3 is a versatile tool for navigating your Cubase project. By turning the encoder, you can easily move between tracks. Clicking the encoder opens the selected tracks plugin GUI, giving you instant access to your instruments and effects. If the selected track contains an Arturia plugin, Pressing the encoder also activates the analog lab mode, tailoring the controls to give you the best experience with Arturia's sound engine. Need to close the plugin window? Simply hit the back button. Your Keylab MK3's knobs and faders are designed to offer maximum flexibility, whether you're controlling plugins or managing your mix. In device mode, knobs 1 to 8 are mapped to key parameters of the currently focused plugin, while faders 1 to 8 adjust additional plugin parameters. Switching to mixer mode remaps these controls so that the knobs adjust pan and the faders control the volume for the selected track. This dual functionality lets you seamlessly switch between sound design and mixing tasks. Knob 9 and fader 9 always stay dedicated to the currently selected track, allowing you to adjust its pan and volume no matter which mode you're in. This ensures you can quickly make adjustments on the fly maintaining your workflow without interruption. The contextual buttons provide quick access to essential functions. Button 1 switches to device mode, focusing your controls on the active plugin, while button 2 takes you to mixer mode for track adjustments. Buttons 5, 6 and 7 let you mute, solo and arm the selected track, respectively, streamlining your recording and mixing processes. One of the unique features of integrating the Keylab MK3 with Cubase is the ability to trigger specific DAW functions using the pad banks. In the pad bank DAW mode, each pad is mapped to a handy Cubase function. Pad 1 shows and hides extended left zone. Pad 2 shows and hides left zone. Pad 3 shows and hides lower zone. Pad 4 shows and hides right zone. Pad 5 shows previous page. Pad 6 shows next page. Pad 7 shows previous tab. 
Pad 8 shows next tab. Pad 9 adds a track. Pad 10 shows and hides channel settings. Pad 11 shows and hides direct routing in channel settings. Pad 12 shows and hides output chain in channel settings. These shortcuts allow you to navigate Cubase more efficiently, giving you quick access to different views and settings. When you switch to pad banks A, B, C, or D, the pads are ready to trigger sounds, making them perfect for live performances or sample auditioning. If you're working with Arturia plugins, the Keylab MP3 offers enhanced integration. To enter analog lab mode, simply press the main encoder on a track that contains an Arturia plugin or press PROG plus Arturia. This mode optimizes the controls for navigating, selecting, and tweaking sounds within analog lab, giving you a streamlined experience directly from the controller. And that's how you can fully integrate your Keylab MP3 with Cubase. With these controls at your fingertips, you'll be able to navigate and create music more efficiently than ever. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep creating.